How do you think this one's going to go, Jake? Uh, it's hard to say. I really, really think that DG is going to win. But I also have watched a lot of Humble Rugger Reapers. And I, do, I honestly don't know. Uh, I hope I'll, the only thing that I hope is that this game is played in Oregon and I'll be happy. Okay. We see DG with the first ban onto Cafe. I'm pretty happy. That means we won't be doing two maps, or well, one map twice in a row. Theme Park is then swiftly banned out by Humble Fragger Reapers. That leaves us with Coastline, Consulate, Oregon, and Villa. And as I say that, Disrupt banning out the Coastline, Villa being banned out by HF Reapers, leaving us with Consulate and Oregon. Come on, nobody likes Consulate. Nobody likes Consulate. But everybody and let's see if the Oregon. teams agree with you <laughs> <laughs> as we wait for the final band to come out. We are at Playday 7. Oregon has been out for a decent amount of time now. At this point, I feel like a lot of teams should have some competent strats for how to play it and have probably done some scrims there. So as we are this late into the season, it's not as unlikely for Oregon to be played as it was in the first half of our play days. We've seen it. Yes! Three times now, I believe, and consulate banned out, leaving us with Oregon just waiting on the side select. And it's going to be Reapers defending first while Disrupt attacks. We got ourselves another Oregon game chat. I'm happy. I'm happy. Jake's happy. I'm happy. Ghost just whispered to me, said he's happy. Calm down, Gus. I'm happy too, but we're trying yeah. to cast. You guys are lucky that you don't have a producer in your ears. And it looks like we have everybody into the lobby. We just have to wait for them all to be on the correct side. Which I didn't think would ever be an issue. And all right, some friendly banter going on in chat as one person is AFK holding up the lobby. Hopefully they will be back here momentarily so we can kick off the stream and see ourselves a Oregon game. I'm pretty excited for it. And there we go. Sides have been swapped. Everyone's on the right team. Ours coming out from both teams. We are ready to start. Now, Jake, what are you thinking for bands here? Uh, I definitely think Thatcher is going to be on because that's just that's just meta, right? Gonna be at the after gone. I would probably say a hard breach just because there are a lot of things to be breached. There's I'm I'm right on one end, I guess you could say I'm somewhat right. That's somewhat a hard breacher. But I don't yeah. I don't know. I haven't played I haven't played or seen enough of this map to really know what's meta for it. And there's Thatcher, so give me one point five. For defense, I'd expect Mira yeah. and Echo. 
or Mira and Maestro. Because this is NA and that's what we do. I'm gonna say hmm. I'm gonna say Valkyrie. I'm gonna be spicy. Say Valkyrie. Mm, that is spicy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and you are right. Yep. I'm also buying 30 lottery tickets after this. <laughs> All right, so here we go. First site being selected is going to be the kids dorms. And I believe that is where we have seen every team start on defense so far out of the Oregon games that have been played. We got a Jaeger, Legion, Maestro, Mute, and Bandit showing for the defense, Humble Fraggers, and Nomad, Montaigne, Thermite, Zofia, and Capitao being shown from DG. Monty can be a scary guy. Or he can be really easy to take out. I feel like it's never in between. Now, as we see the site being set up, we see Mute pumping some shotgun shells through that attic wall and into the kids' dorms to make a rotate hole. Reinforcements coming out on the front side and the back side of the attic there, and also next to the reinforce or next to the rotation hole. And another rotation hole being put at the top of white to rotate into that games area. Uh, used to call that generator, but now there's no generator there, so I guess we can't call it that. Yep. Um, I do like the number of site rotations they have. They kind of have every single room being able to be rotated into from another room. Uh, so moving around the site is going to be really easy for the defenders. We see Jaeger here on a bit of an extended roam. Also want to note that he's rocking the black ice. Kind of jealous. Montaigne and IQ making quick work going in through classroom, kind of droning out using Monty as a human drone and also droning in front of him with regular drones. We still see IQ trying to get some of the electronics from below. She's going to get what I believe was a lesion mine and narrowly missing the lesion who was sitting right next to it. I'm kind of interested to see exactly because you know in the old organ you walk into master bedroom you open up that wall where a generator was and you plant one reason why i wanted to see this is see how the meta has changed for that as we oh, have yeah. a i mean it's attacking this site is it's a lot different now attacking this entire map is different and as i say that they're going to open up the wall that you were just talking about just like he used to do the old way. <laughs> <laughs> so we see Legion sitting at the top of White Stairs. Fry Queen doing what she does best, and she's going to absolutely fry Jaeger, leaving it in a 5v4. Maddox has taken a little bit of damage as the Monty. IQ still below, trying to get some of those electronics, and as Monty tries to throw the smoke, his head's going to be ripped off by Hungry. Putting us at a 4v4. Monty's off the board. Fry Queen getting a double kill onto Hungry, refragging and avenging her teammate, the Monty. Plant is going down by Dope Girl, being surrounded by smoke and fire. Fry Queen with good positioning there on the white stairs, kind of preventing any sort of rotate, cutting off a good angle. Gunfight happens right there between IQ and Maestro. Nothing landing. Yazzers. Holding angles. Attackers just holding angles here. C4 comes out. Isn't going to connect with anything. Bandit peeking White Stairs. Going to be taken out by Fry Queen, who's now on a triple kill. Yazzer's taking out Orbit. That's going to be Maestro gone. It's all up to the Mute, who I don't believe has a C4. He does not. He has the SMG 11, though. And in the right hands, that can save a round. But it doesn't here, as he is taken out by Fry Queen, who gets a nice little 4K. Really good clean attack there by DG. 
Yeah, it definitely looks like DG has at the very least discussed how to attack that how to attack that site. Because everything looked like it was running smooth as if we were playing Clubhouse. Which is surprising because we are not playing Oregon. Yeah, and I would say they have done more than talk about how to attack it because that was clean. And so now we see humble fraggers rotate down into the laundry um, site. This site used to be a favorite on Old Oregon. Uh, it was pretty easy to defend, but it was also pretty easy to attack just because of that laundry hatch that used to be right there in the middle of the site. Once you got that open, you had a lot of control down onto site, but by just moving it to the other side and adding in a bit of a doorway there, that hatch isn't quite as important as important now because um, you can't just like drop the hatch and plant or hop on top of the laundry uh, or washing machine and plant up there. So I like that the attackers now have to put more effort into actually going into the laundry site in order to attack it. Oh, no. As Kai throws down his charge, he's going to be taken out by smoke, making a rotation hole. That timing was awful. He like he threw it down. You saw his hand go out to pick it up and it just gets destroyed in front of him. I feel so bad for Kaid right now. You know the words are being exchanged. Absolutely. And we see Maddox on the Monty again, charging right down laundry stairs into the helm of hell itself. And as she tries to melee the barbed wire, taken out immediately by Snowy with the SMG-11. Uh, Good kill uh, by Smoke. I don't think she should have been breaking that barbed nope. wire. That was a bit greedy. And especially with no intel there. Dropping that shield is Montaigne's one and only weakness, really. That and being shot from behind. Shots ring out by Cammy on the cap tow, taking out Snowy. Once again, avenging Monty, making sure that his death isn't in vain. We see Callie. We see Fry Queen on the Cali pushing through Freezer. They do have angles into A. Smoke's going down. Yazra's getting right up against the laundry wall, planting in those smokes. Well, my... It doesn't seem like he knows what's happening uh, with the plant. Not a lot of support for him either. And it's going to be Fry Queen sniping out insane on the band. However, Jaeger on the flank. Shot's going to miss but then eventually connect for a double kill. Hungry, taking out Dope Girl, putting in a 1v2. It's all up to Cali. Diffuser's down, 20 seconds left. Nice shots, oh. and Fry Queen doing what she does. Frying, saving the round for her team. Really good clutch and really well played by HF on the retake. Jaeger putting his heart and soul into that rotation. And Wamai getting that pick onto the Thermite. It was very well played. 2v1. But Fry Queen just able to clutch it out. Putting DG at 2-0. And HF elects to go back to kids' dorms. That was a wild last, like, 20 seconds of that round. Yeah. Um, I went through a lot of emotions there. Same. Uh, I, I never knew who had the upper hand with that. It was all over the place. Now we'll let him go back upstairs. Um, I do feel like that they might could learn from how they how disrupt attacked us. 
It was very default. You can see now they bring the Kaid. Last time they did not. And I think that would at the very least slow them down. It looks like a pretty similar setup here. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think they brought the Kaid last time. Or actually, I think they did. However, because the IQ, they were still able to open up the wall pretty quickly. Uh, not a lot of pressure being on that middle floor because Jaeger was roaming down in the uh, like freezer area. And again, very quick entry into the building. We see Maddox on the Montane again, being that human shield and drone. Uh, not a lot of roam presence here by HF. We see all five are up, two in the attic, one in games, and one in each side of the kids' dorms. So they're giving up a lot of this map control for free. And Cami taking out the Jaeger as the cap tow. Monty standing menacingly in a door with Cami looking just over his shoulder. Kaid holding white stairs. That was part of their downfall last time is their white hold wasn't good enough and DG was able to take control of that pretty easily, allowing for a great crossfire. Dope Girl going ahead and opening up that game's wall. Kaid still sitting on white with Hungry with a pretty nice angle through the bunk beds onto games through that rotation hole. Maddox still standing in that doorway menacingly. C4 comes out, not going to land on anything. Kaid getting some shots fired at him by Fry Queen. He's going to fall off of White Stairs, giving that up to Fry Queen and giving her that advantage. I don't know if she's going to go up there and take position there. But what she is going to do is eliminate Snowy as the mute while Yowzers follows that up with a kill onto Orbit. We see a 5v2 in favor of the attackers. Time usually a downfall for attackers, but now it could be the downfall of the defenders as they only have 30 seconds left to kill five members of DG and get the plant defused. Hungry being taken out. He's down, but not out. Kaid sprinting right out of dorms and being taken out by Fry Queen. Fry Queen showing up to play today. Really yeah. good work. I feel like their downfall there on the defending side, just like last time, they're giving that that first floor presence for Fry Queen for free. And it's bit them in the butt both times. She's able to go down there, get rid of every bit of utility, no matter what it is, free without contestion, and roams around and drones out herself. Like other than that, that smoke that roamed down there for the last little bit, she she had no issues. And I think that that's what they're missing on their defense. There, they're they're five manning the site and bringing operators to deter them from getting what they want, but. IQ is able to go down there by herself and get everything she needs for her team. Yeah, absolutely. And just taking out all that utility with no pressure onto her, it's, it's just a lot in favor of DG because they're getting all of this utility off the board for relatively free. The only thing that is being taken away is like timing and positioning. And bullets. No. <laughs> we got to work on this. Um, <laughs> that's what I have to say. Um, Kaid throwing out his Kaid charge this time, not being shot by smoke. Hopefully, time will tell. He's able to pick it back up and rethrow it. Trying to get it just close enough, and he gets it. Monty already in the zigzag area. Drones out in front of him, checking that uh, 
It used to be a bathroom, but I don't think it's a bathroom anymore. I think it's a security office. Um, make sure there's nobody there to sideswipe him or shoot him from behind. Uh, and there is nobody there. And this is the bandit I like to see. Iron sights. I, I hate seeing a sight on bandit. He just doesn't need it. His iron sights are absolutely perfect. And we see a pre-placed C4 actually uh, that goes off prematurely. Unfortunate if you're on Humble Fraggers, as that was a good opportunity to eliminate the menacing Monty. Yazzer is looking over Monty's shoulder. Dope Girl and Cami taking control of Freezer. Bandit still upstairs. And as I say, that gets taken out by Fry Queen on the Cali. And I think this is the most Cali we've seen in a game. As Cami also taking out Hungry, that's going to be Wamai and Bandit both off the board. Orbit taking out Cami. No more Capital. That means no smoke or fire to come out from his Capital darts. However, Monty does have smoke grenades that can be thrown out. 2v4, Jaeger and Kaid. And Jaeger actually picking off Dope Girl as she's getting ready for a plant. That's going to be Diffuser dropped. I don't know if they know. They know. They definitely know. <laughs> Never want to be caught in that, in that situation. <laughs> nope, that's just not fun. Maddox getting the melee kill, leaving it all up to the Jaeger. 1v2, however. Gazzers with a sliver of health, but menacing Monty. Maddox menacing Monty, meleeing Jaeger. And talk about alliter alliteration, guys. Man, what an what an aggressive Monty. Is that Pingu? It must be. We see DG up 4-0 on the attack. Humble Fraggers opting to go back to kids' dorms. They've been flip-flopping between these two sites so far on their entire defensive half. I'm kind of surprised we're not seeing a third site being thrown into there. <clears throat> well, I mean, you know, right now what it looks like, just observing this game, it came down to a band that DG had to a decision DG had to make. Do we go to Consulate or do we go to Oregon? I believe that happened because Humble Fraggers thought there's no way we're going to Oregon, so we're not going to waste the ban on it. And DG has obviously been working on this map. And I think that from just from the four rounds I've seen, that's what it looks like. And I think that if that is the case, Humble Fraggers is just going what they know best. If you're playing in rank and you're trying to win and climb your ranks, these are the two sites you're going to be going to. And so these are the two sites that they're probably the most familiar with. Yeah. Makes sense. Hungry taking a bit of damage very early into the round. He's sitting at 50 HP, and that's going to be your lesion. I forgot his name for a second. I'm going to be honest with you. Gammy making quick work of opening the armory window, making sure it's clear as Maddox absorbs some bullets because that is her job on the Monty as Yazers comes in through the bedroom, taking out the Kaid. Monty pressing forward into the doorway that she once stood so menacingly to do so again. Wall being opened on the game's side. Fry Queen still below, getting all the utility she can. As you see, Pretty default now that we've seen it for the third time. 
Maddox in the doorway there, Monty. Smoke at the ready for as soon as the plant is able to go down. Um, and there's the smoke coming out. They're going to want to get that plant off in that corner, as they do. Fry Queen is on white stairs. And again, no pressure from below. This is just a beautiful round. If you want to know how to attack this site, here's one strat you can use, because it has worked every time thus far. Oh, man. Oh. This has just been... It, it feels so one-sided from my perspective as EG takes just another round 5-0 on attack. And from what we've seen, it doesn't seem like this is, you know, a attacker-sided map in previous playdays. Humble Fraggers needs to stop DG here if they want any points for this game. They have one more, well, they have, I guess, seven more shots if they win seven in a row. But if DG wins one more, they automatically secure at least one point. Yeah, and it looks like they're changing up in R, and they are going to what I would think would be the tertiary site, um, trying something different. Uh, you need to at this you point. You have to. Yeah, you have to. There, there's, there's too much going on that you obviously have not been able to stop to where you have to see something different and try to take it down to a mechanical skill fight. I will say, great Monty play. I've seen nothing but great things from this, other than her meleeing the barbed wire. Yeah, I mean, there, well, there were there were two times where she died pretty early on the Monty. Mm -hmm. But other than that, yeah, I mean, fantastic Monty play. Um, and I, I do like Humble Fraggers retakes. They've done pretty well at it. They just haven't been able to close out a round. Kind of questionable castle there. Kind of questionable castle play there. Um, because you're giving that entire area for free. Like now they have sight. Disrupt getting the plant down. 5v2 in favor of them. Yazzer's looking at Fry Queen. Maybe she's planning on shooting her. We'll see. Uh, there is somebody just around the corner. Sophia stuns come out at the perfect time. Drop shot by Fry Queen. Yazzer's getting the kill with her impact grenades onto Snowy. And that puts us a 6 0 going into the split. And maybe this is where I get proven wrong. And maybe. For tonight only, this is an attacker sided map, and Humble Fraggers brings it back and ties it up. But that remains to be seen. DG with the momentum in their favor. We see the tactical picks of Jackal and Lion for a good, efficient roam clear, and then Ash Thermite and Nomad on the side of HF Reapers. We see the Lion 6 picked into the IQ. For DG, we've got Wamai, Castle, Maestro, Smoke, and Kaid. And they actually opt into going into meeting and kitchen first.
Man, I'm 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 kind of excited because obviously, like I said before, it looks like DG has has in fact at least went over this map to some degree, and uh, and I'm kind of excited to see what what their what their take on these sites are. It looks like they're going for an extended presence on this with some uh, people playing upstairs and also starting out on the is that the basement i believe yeah that is the basement so very extended uh extended roam play by them thus far no that is kitchen that is kitchen meeting hall okay yep see drones going out from humble fraggers reapers trying to figure out where these people are uh, obviously they see a lot of things that are different about the top floor so they're trying to figure out where these roamers are orbit hopping in very aggressively here scribe queen on the wama is popping shots through the wall Trying to get a read on where everyone is at the moment. It look I don't know if they've drawn out the Wama yet. But he definitely knows. And as we see Fry Queen picking off orbit. And uh, Man, I, I I don't know. It just seems like they really may not just have a clear plan of attack here. Yeah, drone coming out, spotting out Maddox on the castle, but the drone immediately taken out. And we see Castle fall into the top of Freezer Stairs. An aggressive push here by Insane, but taken out by Yazzers. That's going to put the attackers at a 3v5. This is looking heavily in favor of DG right now. Unless we can get some good picks here. Maddox fully flashed. Not going to take any damage, but do a lot of damage to Thermite and take out Thermite with a nice headshot. I'm not sure if she's aware that there's another one there. Pre-fires come out and return, so she definitely does now. Hungry, taking out Castle, making it a 4v2, trying to keep his team in this game. And a second one making it a 2v3 as Hungry just laying down lead, trying to do what he can to keep his team alive for a little bit longer. Maestro gonna take out the Ash, making a 3v1, and Fry Queen taking out Hungry, making this a 7-0 sweep in favor of DG. Wow. Hell of a game by DG. Man, Fry Queen with the 15, 0, and 0. That is insane. Not a single death. Or an assist. It's or an assist. Kind of she finished her kills. Yep. Amazing work there by DG. Humble Fraggers put up the fight they could. This is definitely a good game to go back and watch and see where things fell apart. Yeah, it was uh, very, uh, very different there to see that one team. I, I, re I really, really thought that this game was going to be a lot closer, but I guess given the map that it was, was maybe one. But yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Humble Fraggers was kind of hoping for maybe that to go to Consulate. I don't remember if that was their map pick. Um. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know that either. 
But it definitely but, looked like it played a hundred percent in the favor of DG. And so with that, that is our final game of the night. GG's to all teams that participated. Uh, I want to thank all of the viewers for coming out and supporting your team, supporting the league. That is all we have for the night. Jake, did you have anything you wanted to add? No, thank you all for coming out. Uh, I, we really appreciate it here at NACL for all the support we've been getting recently. Uh, you guys have been great. Our numbers have have uh, have risen since we've started, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that. And I'm excited for the things to come. Absolutely. And we are going to go ahead and kick off this uh the stream and we are going to send you guys over to a, another stream uh it is the zero gravity gaming league they are streaming league of legends um for those of you that are interested in that and yeah you all have a fantastic evening